to start yeah. with maybe just you know like when should a startup look, look to fundraise versus maybe bootstrap like when does fundraising make sense yeah it's one of those difficult questions because there are very in my opinion clear criteria on when founders should prioritize fundraising the problem is that there aren't really a lot of alternatives in the interim. So it's very easy to say, right? Like founders should only raise if X, Y, Z. Very few options sort of on the other side of that. So I want to caveat this by saying that I think it's a very difficult ecosystem for entrepreneurs to navigate. There are some options and they're increasing, but they're still not great. And, you know, financing startup businesses remains really, really hard. Um, so let's start there. You know, from my perspective, when it comes to raising money from venture capital firms in particular, I think sort of a good litmus test for whether it makes sense to raise or not is considering whether capital is the gating factor to growth. So if, you know, I'll invert that to kind of provide a counterpoint to make that point clearer. If you want to raise a bunch of money to test a bunch of things and you don't know if they're going to work, that's usually a bad framing of the of the raise. On the other hand, if you've already tested a bunch of channels, you've talked to some customers, you've done customer research, you have identified who has this pain point, and you have some of those assumptions in place, and the thing that's gating your growth is that you need capital to pour money into marketing or even develop a product. And the, the bottleneck, right, based on everything you validated today is capital, then it makes sense to raise. So, you know, in some businesses, this is true right out of the gate. You might need upfront investment in product development to even get off the ground. So there are cases where there's no revenue, there's no MVP. Sometimes, you know, if it's an enterprise grade product, for example, like you just need three, four million dollars to get it off the ground. Makes sense, assuming you've, you've demonstrated something else on the market validation side. In other cases, there's a lot that you can do without raising money up front. You can kind of do a, a low tech version of what you're building. You can have service revenue that supports the initial go to market. Uh, but once you reach the point where capital is a gating factor of growth, I think that's when you really start thinking about raising venture capital. I, yeah, I loved how you framed it. You know, like if you're just raising for the sake of raising and test out a bunch of ideas that you don't know it's going to work or not, probably not the right Yeah, time. Yeah, or like even said differently, like, if you have any other alternative that would move your business forward, you probably shouldn't raise money. <laughs>